working heel with two dogs, teaching heel is the same as you teach with one dog. And we do it in a small area. This is about 20 feet. And we'll go back and forth, making sure that the dogs stay at heel. It's important if you're doing heel with multiple dogs that they don't jockey for positions. If Micah's going to be on the inside, that's how it's going to be, and that's how it is. Micah's on the inside, Mila's on the outside. Do, do you understand why that is? If they're jockeying for positions, they're not doing heel. And with that said, it's only on the left-hand side. You don't. The, the dog isn't at heel if it heels sometimes on the left and sometimes on the right. That's not the way it works. Now, you have to make sure that the dogs sit are fairly proficient, if you have two dogs, are pro fairly proficient to heal by themselves before you bring in another dog. And you wouldn't always walk both dogs together. You're going to want to walk them separately. Training's the lifetime of the dog. So do you understand? You don't just like, okay, now I'm going to walk them together. You're still going to walk them separately a lot of times. And Mila's young, so her mom's going to have to spend time with just training Mila alone. And Micah, him and heel, has been a sticking point because the dog walker has like sort of taught Micah to do screwed up shit. So they both had to be sort of trained alone at times, but they also had to be trained together at times too. So if you're going to do heel, stay in one area and just go back and forth and work inside circles and outside circles and figure eights. It should look something like this. If you notice, I have a tire here that we go around. There's a pawpaw tree at the end, right? And that's giving them a visual cue. You build on success. See what I'm saying? If, if they're all, if they're constantly screwing up, that's not good. You want them to do it. You want them to do it as good as they can, as many times as they can. You want to be, have as much consistency in the dog's life as possible. Let's see how they do both of them healing together. Now I've actually had them healing off leash with e-collars and right now I have them on leash and that's another important factor is don't think that, hey, sit. Don't think that because your dog goes, you're starting to go off leash that, oh, and then I don't have to use a leash. No, using a leash is the lifetime of the dog. It's very important if, if you're even training your dog to go off leash, you have a leash with you. Let's see how they do. Notice the leashes, they're not tied together, I'll tell you that. No, here. Sit. Mila, move up a little bit. Sit. If you notice when we do this, the leashes are not tied together. Don't ever do that. If you want your dogs to heal, you have to have the leashes separate and you also have to make sure that they're not tangled up and you know, it's organized. Make sure that your leashes are organized and on, on your left, left hand, if you're doing this, you need to lock it and you should have the um, wrist hole. That's actually a thumb hole you should have that on your thumb. You understand why this is, right? I hope, I hope everybody understands why you have to do this and not put the leashes together or get one of those tandem things so that the dogs are hooked together. Because if they're hooked together, one goes forward, it makes the other one go forward, it just drives them forward. That's what the stupid dog walker did with Micah. He's, he screwed up Micah. 
you know, with this nonsense. The leashes have to be separate. They can't be tied together. If they are tied together, you're never going to be able to train your dog to heal or dogs. Inside circles are easier than outside circles, so do those first. No, heel. Sit. Down. Heel. You can work on sitting down while you're doing this. Just make sure that they're staying at heel. Sit. Heel. Oh, here. Whoa! And put them at whoa, too. Heel. No, here. Whoa! No, whoa. Move up here a little bit. Whoa. The number one thing about doing this really is it's about the leash. It should be leather. It should, if you want your dog to heal, make sure it's a leather leash. Also, the other thing a lot of people have problems with as far as heel goes is that like if the dog goes in your bed or if your dog is allowed on, cat, on the couch or to put its head over you even, you're gonna have leash aggression on the street. You are, so don't do that either. Whoa. We're still working on heel, we're just doing whoa. Heel. No. No, heel. Sit. Heel. No, here. No, here. Sit. Those two look ridiculous. Seriously. Look at Mila's hair on the top of her head. She's got it parted down the middle and shit. She's very fashionable. She's, she's sort of like her mom. She is. She's very fashionable. So is Micah. 